Today I wanted to talk about your vitality and manifesting success and if you're in this group you know that the mind and the body they are so utterly connected. So let's talk about the, the you know the powerful connection between the emotional, mental, social, spiritual and behavioral factors because they all affect our health and our vitality is so important in relation to how quickly we can manifest things and to our success within our you know professionally and within our businesses. And as you're growing your business and you're growing to that next income level within your business or perhaps you're going for a promotion at work it is so important to take care of your physical body so I wanted to share with you some tips for improving your vitality improving your physical vibration to help you with manifesting the success that you want in your life how does that sound so I want you to think about this how do you currently support yourself because if you're not supporting yourself you're actually sending out that vibration to not support yourself. You don't need support. And so your frequency is inconsistent. If, for example, you're wanting to create a business that supports you and that you support your business, yet you're not taking care of yourself. There's an incoherence within your vibration. Simply there at the very high level. Does that make sense? So it's so important to take care of yourself because then you're showing the universe that you take care of yourself and you want more of that. You want more support. So I wanted to share with you some tips that I know that I do, that other successful six figure and seven figure business owners do as well to take care of their physical vitality. So let's dive into some tips and you may want to write these down. Some of them you'll, it'll be like, yeah, I know I should be doing that. And I want you to take this as a reminder, something that you can implement in your life right now. So I highly recommend one day a month and you can rem remember it this way. I want you to be a human being and not a human doing. And what I mean by that is completely disconnect. So go on a digital detox completely. So no music, no messenger, no Facebook, no Instagram, no Telegram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, whatever it might be. Because when you have a complete digital detox and also to be away from wherever your identity is on a daily basis. And of course we have many identities, don't we? I know everyone on here has loads of different identities. You might be, you're a mum, you're a dad, you're a son, you're a daughter, you're a manager, you're a consultant, you're a coach, you're a nurse, you're a pranic healer, you're a salon owner, you're a nutritionist. So we all have many, many different identities. So I highly recommend your digital detox, your human being day is where you're going to disconnect from your identity that you hold on a daily basis and you're disconnecting from all digital stuff because then you're allowing yourself to be and of course you can do this in many different ways where you take yourself off to have that day where you're just going to be and the geniusness of this is you will have you will allow your brain to open up and you will have the best ideas for your success where you're literally just being you're supporting yourself in that energy away from your normal identity and away from all digits <laughs> technology <laughs> so that's my first top tip and if a day feels like too much do it for an afternoon however you can start to fit this in I highly highly recommend it the second tip is reducing the information in your body what I did after um, the shingles and the chronic fatigue to support my body was to reduce the inflammation inflammation in my body so what I did was I cut out dairy I cut out wheat gluten soy sugar for 30 days and I supported myself with top vegan nutrition to really allow my body to heal and I highly recommend it if you want support with this in terms of reducing the inflama inflammation in your body then let me know because I do help people do this in one of my programs and what I've noticed 
is that you will m increase your speed of manifest manifestation when your vitality is raised. So I actually do this for myself three or four times a year so I can completely reduce the information building up and to allow my body to alkalize. I always have bags more energy. I sleep better and things happen more quickly in my life. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. My third tip is, now this might feel controversial for people because I, I know that talking about eating meat um, can trigger people um, in terms of their own personal perceptions and stuff. So I am vegan. I went vegan about nearly four years ago now. So I wanted just to share this with you um, in terms of thinking of this from an energetic perspective because everything is energy you absorb what you eat energetically so just want to leave you with this question to reflect on and you can do what you like with it but when the animal dies that you're eating how do you think it felt before it died um, the important bit around that is what hormones were pumping through its body were they happy relaxed hormones or fear hormones and what is the energetic vibration of this because you're absorbing that energy. So I just invite you to see how that feels. Suggest trying perhaps a meat-free Monday. And so you can start to see how this impacts your vitality, your energy, when you incorporate that in. And then the other one I wanted to share with you, this is a great one, and I know many of you know this one, but in case this is new to you, I want to share this with you, is you can energetically choose your food. So what you can do there is you can muscle test to see what your body actually wants that day because your body will know what it wants. So using the sway technique, which I've taught you all if you've um, joined me in the Energetic Self Mastery workshop series, but what you can do is you can simply ask your body if it wants this piece of food, so this drink, this banana, this apple, this chocolate brownie, <laughs> you can literally, what you do is you pop it in front of your solar plexus, so just sort of above your um, tummy button, if you're not familiar where the chakras are, but just sort of hold it there, and then you just ask your energy if your body wants this right now. And then see what happens and your body will sway forwards or backwards. Um, so you can have a lot of fun and you'll find that when you're energetically choosing your food, you will feel more nourished. You'll probably eat less as well because you're actually choosing what it wants. And then my next tip is to have fun. Find the things that you love to do. One fun thing to do each day to raise your vibes and it you know it can be so simple because often people go I haven't got time I'm doing you know x y and z and a million things you're just putting your favorite track on when you're getting ready in the morning or you're washing the dishes watch some comedy go out with a friend that makes you laugh it's got to be a friend that makes you laugh <laughs> but all these things when you're having fun has a huge impact on the cells in your body so it allows the vibration at a cellular level your cells in your body to be feeling that fun and that's so healing for you as well and you know I was thinking about this as I was reflecting on what to share with you today is that when I speak to people on assessment calls so often their vision of their future self actually includes things that they aren't doing now so they might say well when I'm you know when I've got to where I want to be, to be I'm going to start the day with I'll get up I'll have a nice cup of herbal tea I'll go for a run or I'll do my yoga or I'll go down to the gym or I'll go go for a swim, whatever it might be. But often it starts with some self-care, having time to you know, read a spiritual book or a personal development book, having you know, a really beautiful, healthy breakfast, a, a protein shake, whatever it might be. It's the image of all the wonderful things that they want to do. And their day will often include doing something that they love or something fun something creative art pottery listening to going to a concert you know going for a massage or a sauna or, or, or a facial they will be in their future version of themselves they'll be taking care of their mind and their body and the soul so here's the thing you need to do that now don't wait you need to be living that future version of yourself now and so 
what I recommend you doing is really thinking about, OK, so what are those things that you keep telling yourself you're going to do in the future, that you're going to do in the future to take care of your vitality and your energy so that you have the energy and the motivation in your business and for the success that you want to create in your life? So what one thing is your six or seven figure self going to be doing to take care of their vitality? And then do that now. Just choose one thing and start to weave in to create a new habit around that. So do share in the comments below as you start to think this through and think about, okay, so what one thing can I do now? Whether it's weaving in something fun each day, weaving in um, a massage or a facial or going to the sauna or an extra exercise class. What one thing do you keep telling yourself you're going to do in the future when you're business has got to six figures, seven figures, whatever it is that you're creating and do that now. We need to be bringing in our future selves now and it's so important to take care of ourselves so the universe knows, ah, this energy bubble here loves support, is supporting themselves so let's bring more support to them and things will start to feel easier and you'll be able to manifest more quick things more quickly as your vitality raises in your physical energy field. So I hope that makes sense. I've opened up five free alignment assessment calls for your health and vitality. And so you can we can look at how they're impacting your, your business and your success. So send me a private message if you would like to grab one of these and we will get that sorted for you. Thank you so much everyone for joining me. Sending you lots of love.